to me personally, um, kind of like a higher prestigious of being in color guard. Uh, you being color guard, I mean, it's already a very uh, honorable position for the United States Marine Corps. Um, but being on the Commandant's Forge just means that you put in a lot of extra hard work, and it sets the example for the other individuals in color guard too, knowing that there's something like that. And one of the best things is being able to go around and um, we're laying that to the, uh, to the individuals and the civilians that we meet on like a day-to-day -day basis. It's honestly, being here is not all drill. We have leadership classes, we PT, we have discussions. Like for me, it just, it pushed me to talk more, to talk with a confident voice. Like being able to talk in front of the C4, it's just, it's been a push, it's been a challenge and I really enjoy that. A lot of people don't see like what we really do for the BCD, but it's a very big recruiting statement. Uh, it's one of the biggest ones that the Marine Corps puts on. We go through to a bunch of colleges, uh, high schools, we go through several bases. Um, I feel like it really sets an example for civilians about what Marines are. Uh, we show the very, very honorable side of the Marine Corps. Um, and that's, that's what I'm proud to be of. Training you, my girl, and it's going good. Uh... 11 in the morning PTs and then the long hours is just drilling. You gotta get the reps in so we make sure everything's right. For uh, it means a lot. You know, we put in a, hard, a lot of hard work into CDS and then we had a few weeks training for trials in Commandant Score. And uh, we performed in front of the Colonel, Sergeant Major, Gunner Sergeant Calderon, and Color Sergeant, and a few other people. And um, it just means a lot because you put a lot of pressure on yourself and then put a lot of pressure on everyone else looking up to you to try to perform well.